So five stocks I can't wait to buy on a dip. Happy Sunday, guys. Hope you're having a good one. Hope you're safe and enjoying your weekend. We're looking at Airbnb right here. This is not one of the five, but it's a pretty clean setup, right? Uh, we have a nice head and shoulders breakout. We tag green in the breakout. That means we want to buy the first pullback. Green shade flip weekly candle. Boom, nice trade. This is a new pullback, right? We have a shake up below these lows, so that's interesting, right? Maybe got some bears trapped on that breakdown. And we have another green shade flip. It's interesting because uh, Airbnb has not failed with the weekly shade flips. It's one, two, three, four. It's four for four. They've all had nice follow through, nice trades. We have a strong one here, strong volume, strong green pendulum. It's probably worth taking. <laughs> the only difference is this is the first one where we tagged the red and the Jupiter pendulum on the way down and we got a red dot. That's bearish momentum, right? The other ones did not, they were clean, right? Bullish momentum, green dots on the way up, fresh green tag, that's bullish momentum. You buy the pullback when you get the signal. So that's the difference. Um, so still, might be worth taking. I think we'll get some follow through. It's just that if on the way up, we don't um, we don't tag green again. We don't reclaim the green bias bar. Well, then maybe look for shorts if you start getting some divergence, right? So that's the difference. Um, but still, nonetheless, an interesting one. And if you want to learn more about how to read momentum like a pro, how we trade momentum in the Jupiter ecosystem, um, you can go do that by checking out the masterclass, of course. Um, and we have the Jupiter study that helps us test all these strategies out as well, right? Okay, so moving on. Number one is, whoa, what's number one? Oh no, okay, Dell Technologies. Dell is an absolute fire, right? Low key, it's one of the biggest leaders of this bull market. Nobody really talks about them, right? Going public back in 2018, right? This is a nice basing pattern, right? This is how you trade a cup and handle. It based right here into the long-term moving average. You put in this head and shoulders right here, green tags on the way up. You can see the red bias bar was red. When you broke down here, that means you're looking for lower lows, you got them. As you're breaking up, what are you doing? Breaking higher highs, breaking back above the moving averages, tagging green again on the Jupiter pendulum. Your bias turns back to bullish. You gotta look to buy pullbacks or buy shade flip candles. Funnily enough, there was actually a shade flip candle that marked the bottom and another one on the first pullback here in that morning star. All good signals, but came up right after strong green pendulum, right? Strong green momentum, um, very weak red uh, pendulum on this consolidation. That's kind of the first bull flag it made. Then of course, breakout green candle, fresh green dot. That was a great breakout candle. Um, and, and this thing has continued stronger towards all time highs. It's been one of the leaders. And I think it's gonna be one of those low key um, AI beasts, right? Something like Oracle, something like Broadcom, people are focused on Nvidia and things of that nature. I'm looking for an ABCD, maybe not quite to the 618, depends how bad the stock market sells off. If we sell off, I'm not quite comfortable to, uh, grabbing it here because it's kind of a strong red pendulum. The green pendulum has been fading and we tag the red in the lower time frame on the way down. That means I'm more likely than not, most times than not, right? 60, 70, 80% of the time, I'm gonna make lower lows or at least test these lows. So I prefer a correction when we stay clean, when we don't get enough selling momentum to tag red, right? And that's what we teach in the masterclass. So any dip here, I'll be watching it. Um, if I can buy it in the 70s, that'll be beautiful. But buying it in the 80s will be just fine, right? Buying it under 100. I mean, it's trading at 117, right? So under 100, you're going to get a 20% off. All-time highs towards 200. This is a, um, you know, we're, we're, we're heading towards a time where we're going to have AI on the device, on the hardware. So at the edge, they call it. And so Dell's a leader in this respect, right? So it's not the software, it's not the GPUs, but it's having, uh, they have all the devices, right? Dell computers, um, you know, phones, things of that nature. And they're big in that market. So um, that's, uh, that's Dell Technologies. Moving on, we have Hims and Hers Health. Another super strong stock. You know, Walgreens has been falling apart lately. Uh, we saw Amazon Health. That's a new segment within Amazon, this kind of e-health space. They compete with something like Hims and Hers. This is like telehealth, e-health, right? You see your doctor on the mobile app. Everything's going mobile, right? You literally have a FaceTime conversation with him through the app. They can see you. For most things, that's enough, right? Obviously, you, you have a bone hanging off your arm because you shattered it. You have to go to the emergency room. But for most things, seeing a doctor, seeing a therapist, things like that, even prescribing basic meds, you can do all that on Hims and Hers. Um, you know, they're big. They started off, I think, for ED, erectile dysfunction, um, things of that nature. People don't want to go into the store because they're embarrassed. So you do it through the app. But now they've grown to this full 
like I said, eHealth platform, their, their, their numbers are crazy, right? They're really growing here. You can see they became profitable last year. You can see sales have more than doubled, right? Strong double digit. This is a pure growth stock, right? So it's here um, and it's, it's, it's in a beautiful moment in its life cycle. This is the you know six month IPO base. You never want to buy that. This is an IPO base. It's made its way up the right side of the base. Uh, two beautiful green shade flips, a green breakout candle, of course. Um, fresh green tags into all time highs. So I am looking for a pullback. You know, this is a green candle. We didn't have much volume on it. The pendulum didn't get the shade flip. It didn't even turn green pendulum. So that two weeks ago, I didn't love it. And look, it didn't do much the following week. If I can get a better price on this, I will. I don't want to call this a, hair, a head and shoulders, but if the stock market tanks, this is kind of forming a head and shoulders and we'd be able to probably buy it below 10 bucks, which would be interesting. But anyway, any sort of dip back towards the long-term moving average, I'm certainly interested in, right? I already have one of those. This one is that one. Yeah, so the 618 for that is right here. So around this area of 618 slash this long-term moving average, very interested in this company, right? Hims uh, probably make a bull case soon when we approach that. Coinbase, talked about this on the channel many times before. Okay, beautiful macro head and shoulders, which we called on this channel. I was calling this out as it happened. That pendulum is huge. Okay, so of course, divergence, right? We have red candles and red dots and red tags. Boom, no, we expect lower lows, we got them. Now we form the head, none of that, not even pink. Now we get a green shade flip and a lower time frame green tag, heavy pendulum. So bullish momentum shifting, come up, green dots, good. Higher low, good. Come up, break above the moving averages, fresh green dots, fresh green tags. Now we pull back to make that right shoulder, green shade flip for the entry, 618 Fibonacci. It all worked out beautifully. We're in this up channel, but now we've broken through the downside, right? It's kind of a bear flag break here. It's bear flagging again. It's below the moving averages. I don't know what's going to happen, but I just think I don't. Want, it's too risky for me. It, it has a rich valuation. Um, you know, who knows what's going to happen with these numbers? It all depends on the crypto market. But it is a crypto agnostic play, an infrastructure play, a picks and shovels play, which I love it for that sense, right? If I want to be invested into crypto, uh, it's probably the top three investments that I want to hold for 20 years. That would be Bitcoin, Coinbase, and maybe, and I don't know, right? Something else that's chain agnostic, right? You don't want to try to pick a layer one and it doesn't exist anymore because nobody uses it. Um, but this would not be one of those. It doesn't matter what crypto wins. Even if it's just stable coins went out, you know, Coinbase is a new a neon bank, a new e-bank, a crypto bank, a digital bank for the new age. Um, and so even if it's going to be Bitcoin and stable coin based, which is the crypto future, whatever. Obviously, the base layer two, all the users and the additional revenue they're generating from that as well. Um, so a lot going on here. We covered it in the bull case video. I want to buy this on a dip. This is one of those stocks. If you can get it below 100, oh my, that's going to be lovely, right? So below 100 um, is going to be what? Like in this area right here, right? 100. So if we can get it between a 15 and a 618 fib, I'm going to buy it up, right? I'm going to buy it up. And you're going to have just, you're going to have just to all time highs, 500% upside. That's a 6x on your money, okay? Even these highs right here, 280. So if you can get it below 100, imagine. Okay. <clears throat> Now these two are the last two have already pulled back. They're just not ready yet. Celsius, absolute monster, taking over the game. I made a Celsius bull case video. Go check it out. Um, I'll put a link to that. Hopefully, this is a giant cup handle. The breakout. This is going to be the retest of what was once that original um, resistance. Right. We're heading towards that area. Right. You know this trend line's broken. You don't want to get involved. You're below the moving average. Heavy pendulum, fresh red tag. Um, so we tagged red. Uh, on this candle breakdown right here, we expect lower lows, we got them. We're still getting pink dots. There's no real divergence yet. There's no shade flip. We're not at the 618 yet. I believe this has lower to go, but this is a super strong stock that's giving you a pretty nice, it's out 67%. That's a lot. You can't tell because it's a logarithmic chart, right? This thing's down 67%. Okay, I'm gonna be patient. Uh, but once you get a once you get a buying signal, they're just starting to expand internationally. There, there's a lot to like about this company. This is an area that has a lot of volume and support, right? So get this thing somewhere in the 20s. It's going to be a good bet, right? It's going to be a good bet to 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 just hold that for years, um, all the way back up and through 100. Okay, this is this is a company that is up from two years ago, and sales looks like what they're expecting is 
is uh, the next quarter, and that's part of this, right? The next quarter, something happened. Sales look to be down by 25% or so, or at least that's what analysts are forecasting. They have some kind of issue with Pepsi as their kind of international distributor and supplier. We can cover that in the future video, but this is, uh, you know, it hasn't even had a scratch of like, if you're gonna make a descending trend line, there's no reason to rush this. Let it give you a signal. Right, that it give you a signal, but it's definitely one that's it's such discounted that you gotta consider it, right? All time highs of 100 and it's trading at 30, or 33 to be exact. Lastly, we have Lululemon and it's a similar situation. S&P 500 stock, you know, one of the best performing, it, it outperformed everybody, the luxury clothes, everyone, you know, from 09, this thing's up 25,000%. It's literally like Bitcoin. It's like Ethereum, right? $2 to $500, Lululemon, after the great financial crisis, right? Um, so sales up and to the right, EPS kind of mixed, right? So we gotta look into that. This is not one I've deep dove into. I just love the value here. I love that like Celsius, such a quality name is down over 50%. Anytime a quality name that's still growing is down over 50%, you gotta look for value, right? And so, but this one's not even close to being ready either. These are fresh red tags with red candles as well. So I do expect to test uh, 223 or even lower. Um, I'd like it under 200, but the 618 is coming in at 220. We'll see if we hold that level. The pre-COVID high was right there. And so there might be some support there. Um, it's all the, gonna depend what the market wants to do. Okay, but that's a steep sell-off. Maybe we come all the way up to 350, complete an ABCD and we can buy it around there. I know the CEO, there's a lot of insider buying. He's been scooping it up, spending uh, over a million dollars of his personal money to scoop up stock. You always love to see that. Um, he's uh, he's obviously bullish on where they're gonna take this thing. Another one I can deep dive into, but I thought it was an interesting um, dipping for a large quality company. All right, guys, love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this kind of video, guys, like, comment, subscribe, share with a friend, watch another video. Uh, stay safe and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace. And guys, if you're in the Discord, I just put out the week ahead private members video. So go check that out. All right, peace.